Hey guys, I made a layered macrame wall hanging, and here's what I did. I used this 3 millimeter cord and a 3 of an inch dowel. The dowel was 28 inches long. For the first layering piece, I cut 8 pieces of cord at 4 yards. I attached 4 of the cords to the dowel using a lark's head knot. To do this, align the ends of the cord to find the center. Place it over the dowel, bring the ends through the loop created, and pull it tight. Repeat this with the other cords. Next, take the two center cords. Bring the left cord over the right cord. Use this as your holding cord. This is the cord that you hold while you make knots with the other cord, which is your working cord. Take the now left cord and make double half inch knots going toward the right. To do this, make a number four with the left cord over the holding cord. Bring the end through the loop created and do this twice. Repeat this until you reach the end of the row, and you should start to see a diagonal line. Now take the fourth cord from the left and use that as a holding cord. Bring it over the cord to the left of it and make double half inch knots going toward the left. To do this, make a backwards four with the right cord over the holding cord. Pull the end through the loop created and do this twice. Repeat this until you reach the end of the row. When making a double half inch knot, to go toward the right, form a number 4. To go toward the left, form a backwards 4. Next, take the 4 middle cords and make a square knot. To do this, make a number 4 with the left cord over the middle cords and under the right. Bring the right cord through the loop created. I align the knot with the ends of the double half inch knots. Then do the opposite. Make a backwards 4 with the right cord over the middle cords and under the left. Bring the left cord through the loop created. Take the first cord from the left and bring it over the cord to the right of it. Use this as your holding cord. Now take the left cord and make a double half inch knot going toward the right. Repeat this until you reach the center. Then take the first cord from the right and bring it over the cord to the left of it. Use this as your holding cord. Take the now right cord and make double half inch knots going toward the left. Do this until you reach the center. Then take the two cords where the diagonals meet and make a double half inch knot going toward the left. This should form a V. I made 8 sets of this. I alternated the direction of the double half inch knot at each crossover.
Next, I attach the other four cords to the dowel using Lark's head knots. Take the two center cords. This time, bring the right cord over the left cord. Use this as your holding cord. Take the now right cord and bring it over the cord to the left of it. Make double half inch knots going toward the left. Repeat this with the rest of the row. Repeat what you did for the first piece. The directions should reflect each other. To connect the two pieces, I took the right cord from the first piece and the left cord from the second piece and made a double half inch knot going toward the right. I repeat this until I reach the crossover. I took the eighth cord from the left and made double half inch knots going toward the left. I repeat this until I reach the crossover. I left space between the two pieces. For the left crossover, I made one double half inch knot going toward the left. For the right crossover, I made one double half inch knot going toward the right. Then I made a square knot with the four middle cords. Take the 5th cord from the left and make a double half inch knot going toward the right. Then take the 5th cord from the right and make a double half inch knot going toward the left. Repeat this until you reach the center. With the two middle cords, make a double half inch knot going toward the right. Next, take the fourth cord from the left and make a double half inch knot going toward the right. Repeat this until you reach the center. Then take the 4th cord from the right and make a double half inch knot going toward the left. Repeat this until you reach the center. With the two middle cords, make a double half inch knot going toward the left. I left this layering piece alone for now because I wanted to be sure that I had enough cord. For the second layering piece, I cut 6 pieces of cord at 2 yards. I attach them to the dowel using a lark's head knot. I separated them into 4 sections. For the first row, I added a square knot to the 2 middle sections.
For the second row, I made alternating square knots. To do this, take two chords from one group and two chords from the group next to it. Then make a square knot. I repeat this with the rest of the chords. For the third row, leave the two chords from the right alone. Then make alternating square knots. Skip the two chords from the left. For the fourth row, make a square knot with the four middle chords. You should end up with an upside down triangle. I placed this in the back of the first layering piece and left it alone for now. For the third layering piece, I cut four pieces of cord at three yards. I attached two of the cords to the dowel using a lark's head knot. I adjusted the ends of the cords so that the length of the two middle cords were one yard and the length of the two outer cords were the remainder of the three yards. Next, I made a spiral stitch knot. To do this, make a number 4 with the left cord over the middle cords and under the right. Then pull the right cord through the loop created. I made 50 spiral stitch knots. Use the same cords to continue making knots and you should start to see a spiral. I attached the two other cords to the dowel using Lark's head knots. Again, I adjusted the two middle cords to be 1 yard and the two outer cords should be twice as long. I made a spiral stitch knot. But this time, I made a backwards 4 with the right cord over the middle cords and under the left. I used the same cords and did this 50 times. You should see a spiral going in the opposite direction. I gathered the cords together. They each had five spirals. With an extra cord, make a gathering knot. To do this, make a U-shape with the extra cord. Group it with the rest of the cords. Next, take the longer end and wrap it around all the cords. I wrap them six times going lower. Place the end through the loop created. Hold it down and pull the top end. The loop should be tucked under the wrap part. Then cut the ends of the cord. I place this in the back of the first layering piece. Going back to the first layering piece, I cut 32 pieces of cord at 9 inches. I cut the longer cords from the layering pieces and I used extra scrap pieces of cord that I had from other projects. I added two large head knots to the outer cord of each section. Going back to the second layering piece, I cut 6 pieces of cord at 30 inches. I added 3 large head knots to the outer cord of the bottom section. Next I cut 6 pieces of cord at 32 inches. I added three large head knots to the outer cord of the middle section. Then I cut six pieces at 34 inches. I added three large head knots to the outer cord of the top section.
place this in the back of the layering pieces. For trimming, I left 3.5 inches of cord at the ends of the first layering piece. For the second layering piece, I trimmed the ends to match the first layer. I did the same for the third layer. I ended up cutting the dowel at 22 inches. To hang it, I used an extra cord. I left extra cord at the ends before knotting it to both sides of the dowel. Using a tapestry needle, I tucked the ends under three cords and shifted them to the back. Then I cut the extra cord. Hang it and your layered macrame wall hanging is done.